This Weber repair video is all about replacing the manifold on the Genesis 2 LX family of grills. Manifold replacement might be necessary to cure a leak problem or to fix valves that aren't working properly. Start by getting a helper to support the lid while you remove the cotter pins and hinge pins. Carry the lid away for now to someplace safe. Remove the cooking grates, the flavorizer bars, and the warming rack and carry them away. Don't put them on the side table because they could scratch the metal. Pull the knobs off as a first step to removing the control panel. The manifold is behind the panel. The grill we're working on here requires a T25 Torx driver to remove the two screws that secure the bottom of the control panel. Lift the panel up and towards you, then disconnect the two wires leading to the lighted control knob button. Rotate, unlock, and remove the control knob wiring harness before setting the control panel safely aside. This is the manifold, but before you can remove it, you're going to need to take off all the wiring that's anchored to the manifold body. The switches on the ignition wiring harness simply pull off from the valve bodies like this, and the manifold wire clips just undo like you see here. The manifold is anchored to the grill with four bolts, two of which go right through the cook box. Start by removing the top two bolts with an open end wrench on the inside and a socket wrench with an extension on the outside. Before you completely remove the manifold, use an Allen key to loosen the machine screw to remove the ground wire. While you're at it, use an open-end wrench to loosen the gas fitting, then unthread it all the way by hand. Use your socket wrench and extension again, this time to loosen and remove the two bolts holding the bottom of the manifold in place. When these are out, you can take the old manifold and set it aside. Be careful not to damage the wires as you pull the manifold free. As you work, inspect the wiring for cracked insulation or broken connections. Always use genuine Weber replacement parts when working on Weber grills. The number here is the part number of the manifold for the grill we're working on. Pull the wiring aside as you ease the new manifold into position. It's essential that the valve extensions interlock with the holes in the ends of the burners. Install the bottom two manifold mounting bolts finger tight only for now. The next step after this is to reconnect the gas line and you'll find it easier to get a leak-free connection if you can move the manifold a little bit as you do up the fitting. Make sure mating surfaces of the flare fitting are clean before doing the nut up finger tight. Snug up the gas connection with your open end wrench before installing and tightening all four manifold mounting bolts. If you're working on a propane grill as we are here, reinstall the tank, connect the regulator, turn on the valve and leak test the regulator connection with soapy water in a spray bottle. Use the same solution to leak test the gas fitting on your new manifold, then rinse everything with clear water when you're done. Before you put the control panel back, Test to make sure that all burners work properly with your new manifold in place. If the burners perform properly, reconnect all the wires to the control panel, then clip the panel in place and anchor the bottom edge with the two machine screws, one on each end. Replace the knobs, the flavorizer bars, the cooking grate, the warming rack and the lid, and you're done. Thank you for taking time to learn how to repair Weber grills properly. You're a very valuable part of the Weber team.